I mean, I think <coughs> the, the DUP, uh, a DUP want, source once said that this is essentially a who blinks first contest and we've cut our eyelids off. So we know they're going to take a very aggressive stance and we know they're going to hold out for the best deal that they can possibly get. But I think the strategists in number 10 are thinking, what is their what's their fallback option, their best alternative to an agreement here? And if they go into a general election, there are lots of ways in which their power can be diminished. And there are lots of ways in which they don't improve their position. And so on that basis, they, they, may, they may fall into line. I mean, I'm not saying honestly whether that is or isn't going to happen, but I certainly don't think they have a, a huge range of wonderful options if this deal doesn't go through. Interesting, and, and the way you spell it out suggests uh, that's why we're not seeing sterling drop too much from this level. If there is a, a positive outcome for Boris Johnson come tomorrow, what happens to the pound over the weekend by Monday morning? Where could we be trading? Um, yeah, so I mean, I think the first thing to say is it is possible to get to a deal without the DUP as well. It's obviously much more difficult and you require a bit more goodwill from, from, from some um, Labour sympathisers, but uh, it, you can get there. I mean, where could we be like looking at 131, maybe 132, something like that, which would be a really big move in quite a short period of time. But at the same time, you know, there is quite a big Brexit discount. And I don't think anyone's really been able to put a handle on whether the sort of the 8% Brexit discount is all about no deal risk or is actually about, you know, some, some share of it is that the market frankly thinks that even with a deal, the UK has probably got a lower trajectory of interest rates. What about, the rate, what about the rate hike angle as well? Because that's an interesting perspective as well. Yep. You're saying that you know on a, no, on, a, on a deal rather, you could see the pound climb above 130, but that's assuming that the Bank of England keep interest rates where they are. Mm. Dave Ramsden yesterday said that if, if there is a smooth Brexit transition, then perhaps the next move out of the Bank of England could be an interest rate hike. Clearly that would provide an impetus and a tailwind to the pound as well. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't think you want to sort of get, um, I don't think we want to get ahead of ourselves in terms of that, but there certainly isn't uh, a convincing argument either way for a cut or a hike at the moment. The retail sector, the consumer sector is holding up pretty well, um, and the employment market is reasonably tight, but not generating a huge amount of inflation. So you'd probably say we're actually in a reasonably you know, benign position in terms of rates and we wouldn't see a, a massive move, you know, we wouldn't see a move in either direction as a direct result of getting a, a Brexit deal. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.